Good morning, YouTube, and today I'll be profiling for you my Force of Goblins deck profile. Now, this is definitely not something you'll see in the meta nowadays, but you know what? It's quite fun. I had this a long time ago, and I decided to rebuild it and see it showcase to you guys what I have. Um, for those of you who don't know, most of the goblins, at least the goblins I play, are all are based off of having high attack, and then they are forced to defense position after they attack, which is a downside that we try and counteract. Hopefully, you'll be able to see how we do it in this profile. Starting off, we have Triple Goblin Attack Force. This is the guy's the OG 2300 attack. Quite nice. <coughs> um, next, we have Triple Goblin Lee Attack Force. 2200 attack, but he actually has a defense. One Goblin Marauding Squad. He's on our maze on attack, but he's searchable with Tenki. It's pretty cool as well. Our other Tenki target is Goblin Black Ops. This guy can be your win condition of the deck in the simple fact that your opponent doesn't want to attack you with this type of a deck. You'll figure out why here in a few minutes. Next, of course, since we're running goblins in a rank 4 spam deck, we run to run three goblin bergs. This is something I used to not even realize was a goblin until I uh, kind of dove, dove down a little bit deeper. Anyway, so he's pretty cool. We run him at three. Uh, rounding up our goblins and all of our monsters, we run a scrounging goblin. This guy is some a guy that came out in Next Challengers and... Uh, Whenever damage is inflicted to your opponent by this guy, either by him attacking or you attacking to his high defense, you have two options. Either your opponent can give you a card to negate their effect, give you a card from their hand, that is, or you get to search your deck for any goblin card. Now, this isn't just limited to all these monsters. We have quite some excitement rounding up for you in our spells and traps. Our spells and traps start off with Upstart Goblin. Yes, you heard it here now. Upstart Goblin is searchable, so we play one of it. One reinforcement in the army to search our big dudes. Two fire formation tanky to search our black ops. One dimensional fissure because, you know, we don't need the graveyard too much. Um, and the back of cosmos, of course. But you'll see why here in just a moment when we get to good goblin housekeeping. Now, this card used to be limited or semi limited. I'm not sure quite why. Um, what his, its effect is is that you get a draw a card and then place a card to the bottom of your deck. Now, this increases for each amount of these cards you have in the graveyard. So let's say you have one graveyard, you get to draw two cards, and then only have to place one at the bottom of the deck. It's pretty cool. Um, so I run a three. Again, it's searchable. And the rounding up our searchable traps, we run two Robin Goblins. This is an old classic. Um, space Hopper, whenever you flick damage to your opponent, which is hopefully what you're going to be doing with your Black Ops, or hopefully one of your higher attack monsters, you get a discard card from their hand. And we all know Hand Venge is quite relevant in this game. Um, we're on two Labyrinth of Nightmare. This is what I try and do to get around like the the switching defense business that this deck has. Um, it's kind of gimmicky in the fact that it forces all face-up monsters during the end phase on the turn player's side of the field to switch battle positions. So your opponent has to think before they attack. Now we get to the forceful part. We run triple storming, triple quaking, triple blazing, and triple regular mirror force. Now, these Mirror Forces, as they were being released, are something I wanted to throw into a deck, and then I finally realized this is kind of the deck I want to put it into. Um, well, your opponent does not want to attack you with these kind of cards. It's uh, more so of a gimmick. Not necessarily sure how it 100% synergizes with this deck, but you know what? It's been working out for me pretty darn well. Moving on to our extra deck, we have a bunch of rank 4 monsters. Now, this can be any possible thing you want to throw in here. It doesn't even have to be rank 4s. You can throw in some... Some weird, wacky techs. Um, starting off, we have a 101 Silent Honor Arc, Tiger King, because you run Beast Warriors, Tornado Dragon, this is cool. Dragon, in case you want to steal your opponent's Zodiac cards, because we all know Zodiac is quite relevant. You run Utopia, Utopia Prime, and Utopia the Lightning, because big attacks are powerful and wonderful. Uh, Dark Rebellion, just in case the Utopia doesn't go through. Castell, because he's cool. Heartland Draco, because Gaga Gaga Cowboy is going to be hurt once when leaks come out. Steel Swarm Roach, because he's cool and Exciton Knight is banned. Uh, number 70, Malevolent Slim, cool card. Haven't used it, still pretty cool. Uh, Digest Emerald, because he's good. Gaga Gaga Samurai for games. 
Bistreller for pesky trash. So that's going to wrap up my Goblin, Force of Goblins deck profile, that is. Uh, it's a deck that's quite fun. I hope you can give it a shot sometime. It's definitely something I have a delight playing. Uh, not necessarily your opponent won't have a good time playing against you, but it's definitely something you should test out. I want to see your own personal builds of like some sort of Goblin deck because it's quite delightful. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, comments, concerns. Anyway, it's just a fun deck. Have a great day. Bye.